Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the step-by-step -step process on how you set up the fifth generation Amazon Echo Dot. If we take out the instruction manual, we can see that step one is download the Alexa app from the App Store. And once we do this, we're going to log into an existing Amazon account, username and password. And of course, you can also create an account and a password if you need to do that. And be sure to turn on your phone's Bluetooth capability and have your Wi-Fi password ready. So I'm gonna take you over to my smartphone to start off this first step. So over on your smartphone device, if you don't already have the Amazon Alexa application, we can download and install this either through the Google Play Store if you're on Android or the App Store if you're on an iPhone. And for me, in the Google Play Store, I searched for the Alexa app for the Echo Dot and we can find the Amazon Alexa application to download and install. So going back to the homepage of my smartphone, I can now launch the Amazon Alexa app. And this is going to prompt us to sign in with our Amazon account. So enter in the email or phone number as well as password that you have associated with your Amazon account if you have one. But if you don't have an Amazon account, you can also create a new Amazon account by clicking this option down here. So I'm going to enter in my login information and then click sign in. Once you log into your Amazon account, you can select the account holder's name in this area. But if you don't see your account holder name, you can also add it by clicking on this plus icon. But I'm going to select my account holder name right here. And it's asking to double check that your name is correct. So make sure that your first and last name are correct. And if it is, you can click agree and continue. And then you can see how it pronounces your first name by clicking this play button. And if it doesn't pronounce it quite right, you can also fix it by clicking where it says let's fix that. But if it does pronounce your name correctly, you can click where it says nailed it. If you want, you can set up voice ID, which essentially is going to have Alexa learn your voice and call you by name. So if you'd like to do this, click agree and continue. Otherwise, you can click skip in the upper right hand corner. And after doing that, it says your profile is ready, set up what you care about. So we're going to set up your features. If you want, you can allow Alexa to access your contacts. And this is going to make it easier to find friends and family on Alexa, call, message your contacts by name and things such as this. So if you'd like to have this feature enabled, click yes. Otherwise, you can click later. And if you want to, you can add additional profiles for each family member so that Alexa can recognize who's who and get the right information to the right person. So if you want to add additional people to your Alexa, you can do so by clicking the little plus icon where it says add someone else. And after doing this, you can click where it says that's everyone. And now it's set with this task, so we're gonna click done. And now at this point, we have to go over and plug in our Echo Dot. Heading back over to the Echo Dot, and we can see step number two, plug in your Echo Dot and use the included power adapter. A blue light ring will spin around the bottom of the device. In about a minute, Alexa will tell you to complete setup in the app. So taking this side of the power adapter and plugging that into the back of our Echo Dot. And then the other side, of course, we're gonna plug into the wall. And within about five to 10 seconds, we should get this blue light to turn on after plugging in the Echo Dot. Hello, your device is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. And within about a minute, eventually you'll get this orange ring at the bottom of your Echo Dot, which means it's ready for setup. So we're gonna head back over to the app itself. And when we open it up, it should prompt us to set up our Alexa device. However, if it doesn't do this, we can also tap the more menu button icon to add the device manually. So we're gonna head back over to our phone. And again, back over on our phone, we're gonna launch the Amazon Alexa app. And again, if you aren't prompted to set up the device after opening the Alexa app, we can manually do this by clicking the more menu down here in the bottom right hand corner and clicking on add a device. And this is going to be an Echo, so we're going to click on that. And this is an Echo Dot, so we're going to select that. And we're going to allow location to be used to make device setup easier. So clicking yes. Is your Echo Dot plugged in and displaying an orange light? Mine is. So I'm going to click yes. And it searched for the Amazon Echo Dot, and it was able to find it rather quickly. So I'm going to select my device right here. And now it's searching for Wi-Fi. And it's going to find Wi-Fi networks that are in your general vicinity. Once you find your Wi-Fi network, click on it. Enter in the password for your Wi-Fi network and then click connect. And then it's going to connect to your Wi-Fi. And our Echo Dot is now connected, so we can click continue. And then it's going to go through some additional information. There's four buttons. There's the action button, volume up and down, and mic off. To snooze an alarm, tap once. And to pause or resume music, tap the top once. So we're gonna click continue. And then we're gonna choose the language that we wanna set for our Alexa and then click continue. We can select which room our Echo Dot is in. For me, it's the kitchen, so I'm gonna select that and then click continue. 
And again, if you want to set up voice ID, you can. Essentially, it's just going to have you read over some different lines so that your Alexa can get used to your voice. So if you'd like to do this, click agree and continue and go through those steps. Otherwise, you can click skip in the upper right-hand corner. You can also select the home address for your Echo Dot by clicking on an address here or entering a new address and then clicking continue. And for this address, I'm going to label it as home and then click next. And if you want, you can enable Amazon Sidewalk. Essentially what this does is for Amazon compatible devices, it automatically connect or reconnect to your router. And this extends the coverage for Sidewalk enabled devices. And it is worth noting that people other than just yourself can use this. So here it says Sidewalk uses a small portion of your internet bandwidth to provide these services to you and your neighbors. So again, if you'd like to enable this, you can click enable. Otherwise you can click disable. I don't like having this enabled, so I'm gonna click the disable option. And now it says your Echo Dot is ready. Next, Alexa will guide you through some things you can do. And again, if you want, you can create a voice profile. Otherwise, you can click Let's Go to go through some additional steps to get an idea of some things that the Alexa can do. And after finishing off the introduction, you should be good to go. So I hope this video is helpful walking you through the step-by-step -step process on how to set up the Amazon Alexa Echo Dot 5th generation. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, and I'll catch you back here next time.